Yo, yo, this is it. I'm Mr. Fade, and you're listening to Attack of the Beats on illmusic.com. Once again, obviously, you know that since you're listening to this, and you're on the website, so, yeah. Anyway, little joke there, I guess, uh, yeah, so. Uh, I don't know if you can hear, but uh, in the background, you might hear a bit of uh, a bit of a whooshing sound. That's my fan going, because uh, it's hot as fuck. Well, not really. I mean, it's going to be this week. Apparently it's going to be really fucking humid, and I'm not looking forward to that, because I really hate the heat, and you know, I'm up here in Canada, and I'm used to the cold, I like the fall, and I like the winter, and I mean, I like the summer too, it's just that, you know, it just gets hot as fuck sometimes, and it's like, fuck this, yeah, I'm swearing, I'm not happy, man, I hate it when I'm sitting here with shorts on, and I'm sweating to death, jeez, you know, so anyway. I'd rather have on a hoodie or something, some boots. That's better. That's better for me, man. So, all right, all right. So let's get right to it. Uh, I'm gonna review some beats here, and I've got uh, got five beats. So let's kick it off first with KC with Intro Beat website. I guess I'll just call it Intro Beat. All right, let's check it out. Right, right. Okay, so that was uh, KC with uh, Intro Beat. All right, so uh, I do like the beginning because you have the piano and it's uh, with the snare, so it's like a real head nodder. I like that shit. So I'm waiting for the beat to drop, and it drops in, and it's good, but I just noticed, though, that the first kick, well, I mean, when when the beat first drops in, it's not going with that piano, right? Like it just like it just comes in too abruptly and stuff. So just check that first one. Uh, the way it comes in, it's like just the time was a little off or whatever, a little timing. So and uh, anyway, so uh, but uh, I like the piano, I like the snare, the kick I do like, but it's very very bassy. I mean, and I, sh- well, I shouldn't say bassy, just loud. It's just very loud. So uh, I'm checking my meter here as I'm listening to it, and it's going nuts. So uh, just keep that kick in check because uh, even though it does sound like a good kick, it's got a nice punch to it. It's just very, very loud, so so fix that. It's like this, it's distorted, so so check that. Uh, but the rest I was really feeling. You got that little uh, key on the, I think it was pan left. Uh, that sounded nice. Like I said, the piano's good. Um, piano's a little too dry. Maybe try putting something on it. Put some saturation on it, maybe. Um, I wouldn't recommend any reverb on it, but because since it's so dry, but, you know, something like some saturation or just some kind of filter just to... Um, just to make it a little, I'm not going to say muddy, but uh, a little dirtier, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess dirtier, you know, dirtier would be good. But anyway, I like that. I like the way you put everything together, so it's good. And uh, I would just change up that uh, that kick, though. And uh, that's the main thing that really put me off about the beat. But, uh, oh, yeah, also, I forgot, uh, you know, just try adding in uh, maybe uh, an electric guitar. Try that. I mean, you know, just for the hell of it, try something new. And see how it sounds. I think it would be really good with that beat. So give it a shot. All right. 
Okay, so next up we've got uh, Killer with Bossed Up. Let's check it out. Killer on the Beats. All right, all right. Okay, so that was Killer. We're bossed up. Now, this beat I'm really feeling, okay? I mean, uh, it's well put together. You've got your strings there. Nice drum work. Uh, I really like the way everything was just uh, arranged and uh, mixed. And, uh, yeah, I really like this one. <laughs> and, uh, there's not too much to say, really. I mean, well, there was... Um, I did notice with the mix, uh, it was a little too much on the high end, I would say. A little too much on the high end. Uh, and it's mainly probably because of the uh, the string part you had, the little key part or whatever, where uh, uh, the high pitched keys, whatever it was there, and uh, it was a little too high, you know, kind of high actually. Because you know, I did that a few years ago where I had these strings going and stuff, and I put that in my beat, and I thought it sounded really good. But when I played it back later, and then other people listened to it too, and they were like, "Yo, there's, you know, they're nice, but it's just, it's pretty like it's almost strained, you know, like it's so high that it's just strained." So I would say for that, like. I know it's hard with the strings, right? Like you're, it's um, you know you're trying to get a high pitch, but at the same time you don't want to go too high. And if you lower it, it's going to sound muddy, or it's just not going to have that same uh, dynamic to it, right? So um, I don't. There's not much really that you can do with that. I mean, you can just try to pitch it down, try to replay it maybe, or just try a different instrument or something. So, but you know, I don't know. I mean. I don't know what you're working with. It's hard to tell, you know, like, uh, I don't know. I'm just listening to the beat, right? But, I mean, uh, whatever it is you're using and stuff, just try it. Try something else and just see how it turns out, you know? Like, I don't know how, let's say you're using your keyboard. I mean, if you're going really high in the keys, you're all the way to the right of your keyboard. You know, just come back a bit and just see how it sounds, you know? It's just all about getting the right key, right? So, I mean, so what if it's a little, little bit lower on the scale? It doesn't matter, you know, as long as it just sounds good with the rest of the beat, so... So that'd be the main thing, you know, but other than that, I really like everything. And, uh, yeah, so, so just check that thing though with the, uh, the highness, let's say of those, uh, those keys, you know, so, all right. So, uh, okay. Yeah. What's wrong with me today? Okay. So, uh, next up we got, uh, Mittenberg with, let me, let me see this here. What is this? Here? Psycho Matt beat. Yes. Psycho, Psycho Matt. Okay. Psycho. Let's just call it Psycho. All right. Let's check it out. Listening to production by Mittenberg Beats.
Okay, so that was uh, Mittenberg was Psycho Matt. Okay, Psycho. Let's just call it Psycho. All right. Okay, so uh, yeah. All right, so uh, I appreciate the horrorness, if, that, if that's a word, or the horror movie type style of this. Uh, hold on a sec. thought there was somebody at my door or whatever but uh, i get this shit all the time sorry about that all right so uh yeah uh so i appreciate the horridness of this beat and um it does sound nice and creepy i like that and uh yeah so the thing is though is the piano it's i mean to me it's i understand what you're trying to do with it i mean i've been there a million times with that shit i love using piano and uh, it's just it's it's good it, everything's great what you're using it's just the piano is just to me it's out of tune so it's like it's like if you're playing an actual piano you'd have to get in some piano guy to come in and tune your piano you know like that's just how it sounds to me so i mean I, I like i said to the previous with the previous beat they're like i don't know what you're using and stuff but um you know it's just about getting the right keys going and stuff once you get the right keys it'll sound good because the strings are good uh, the strings sound good to me and stuff. It's just those, it's just the piano. Once you get that in tune, then the rest will just follow. So that's the main thing. Uh, the the drums, the drums are good. And you know, for this style of beat, because this is the type of thing I, I do a lot, is um, just to give it because you know it's it's dark, it's eerie and stuff. Um, try adding some reverb to the snare, just a bit of reverb, you know, just like a little bit, just to give it some air make it seem a little roomy and stuff you know try that it, it does go really well with, with this type of style and stuff so give that a shot and uh but the main thing was the mix um the, i mean it's just the levels you know like i understand a lot of guys do that you know they they record hot on every track and stuff but you know you got to really get control of the levels and stuff you know a lot of guys you know they just don't bother or they're just not paying attention or whatever you know and stuff but I mean, with this beat, as soon as I put yours on, I had to lower my volume right away because it was so much louder than everything else. So, uh, so just check that out. You know, I mean, the mix itself is fine. It's just the level. Just, just reduce your master level and uh, see what happens. You know, so, but yeah, good shit. I'm really feeling that one, man. Just that piano. <laughs> Gotta tune up the piano. Tune it up. All right. So next up, we've got uh, Sugar for Beats with Real Deal. Let's check it out. Right, right. Okay, so that was uh, Sugar for Beats with Real Deal. All right, so this beat, I mean, um, 
piano is great, strings are great, drums are great. So uh, I really like this beat. It's really good, except for one thing, man. It's just I'm listening to it, and even though it sounds really good, I like the snare and everything. Uh, it's got a nice smack, but not too much. A little bit of crunch on it, you know. Uh, it's it's the kick. I, the kick to me is almost non-existent, you know. Like you just, I was expecting. I, I thought there was something wrong at the beginning, but uh, then I kept listening. I'm like, oh wait, it is the kick, you know. Like it's just, oh man, it's just. I was like, that sucks because that'd be so much better. I mean, if you had a nice kick coming in and stuff, just a nice punchy kick. I mean, just just to go well with the snare and stuff. So I don't know what kick you're using with that snare, but the one you have, uh, it's like it's very short, very very quiet. Uh, so for me, it would be that's that's what does it in, man. Is the kick? I mean, you gotta have a nice kick to go uh, to go with the rest of the the drum track and all that. Uh, so that was the main. That's the main thing I would fix if I were you. Uh, is the kick uh, because the rest of the beat I really like. I mean, you, you come around uh, with the hook and everything, and you then then you change up the strings and all that stuff. So it sounds really really good. Like it's well produced. I like that. Very good beat. But it's just that kick. You got you got to put a kick in there. I mean, the, the kick that's there is just, just like I said, non-existent. So, so that's the main thing. But uh, other than that, though, good job, man. I like that piano strings, man. It's a good head knock. So, all right. So next up, we've got uh, the last beat. It's Tommy Kit with Hood Rich. Let's check it out. Okay, so that was uh, Tommy Kit with Hood Rich. All right, so this beat is super, super interesting, okay? Because, ah, oh man, this is like, it's got this nice uh, atmosphere to it. I mean, with the, you know, the keys you're using, the pads, you know, like it's just, it's just got nice atmosphere. It just sounds really, really good. And, you know, my first impression was this is the type of beat I could totally hear uh, in a movie, you know, some kind of movie or something like that. So, you know, that's something you should continue with. I mean, keep doing something like this, you know, this atmospheric type beat. Do it, man, because it does sound really fucking good. I mean, it's good. Uh, so I like the way you put everything together. You know, I'm, I'm here. I'm sitting here nodding my head to this beat. And then around the 45 second mark, I was like, OK, there should be a breakdown right here. And then boom, you came up with a breakdown. So that was good. I was expecting it and it was good. Perfect timing. So. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but the uh, there was a couple things though. One is the the mix, uh, it, not the mix itself, but the volume. It was actually the opposite of the other guy I just told before. There was a you need to low, you need to up your your, your mix, you know, the volume of the mix because it was it was pretty low. This mix, so pretty low. You got to really increase the gain on this. So, 
but uh, there's that. And then and the other thing is the kick. Okay, so in this case, using the 808 kick. I mean, who doesn't like the 808, right? I mean, I use it. Everybody uses it and stuff. The problem, though, is that a lot of guys, they just use it too much. Okay, so for me, anytime I've used the 808, I'll use it as like, let's say I've got uh, four bars or something, right? I'll use it just on the first kick at the first bar. That's it. Okay. Maybe at the third bar or something, but that's about it. You know, like, but if, if you're using it all throughout, then, you know, you're, you're, it's just too muddy. Everything's just too muddy. It's just bass all over the place. So that really takes away from the beat itself. You know, it just, it, it just kind of sucks when you, when it's like that, because, you know, it's just, it's hard to, to really enjoy the beat at that point because just like i said it's just like bass floating all over the place you know so uh so if i were you just try it do do exactly what you're doing now except that for the kick use the 808 on just you know bar one kick one and do it like that and then the other kicks use a regular kick okay so or maybe try the 808 but just um uh just filter it you know like, not filter it but like put a uh, uh, compressor, uh, uh, com, um, compression on it so that you can, you know, really make it punchy or something like that. Whatever. The bottom line is that as long as it's a kick that, you know, it's, it's hard enough, thick enough, but not an 808 because you don't want that, you know. So, because if you had that, then this would be like a fantastic beat, you know. So, it almost is, almost is, just it's just that kick. So, just the 808. So, so just fix that part, man, and this would be fantastic. So, great job, though. Okay, so uh, that's it for me. I'm Mr. Fade. This is Attack of the Beats. And uh, don't forget to send in your beat uh, for the next show or a show after that, whatever. I'm pretty backlogged right now, so send it in anyway. I'll, I'll get it. So, uh, But it might take a bit of time to review that shit. So I'm a busy man, so send it in anyway. All right, so that's it. And uh, my favorite beat this week, drum roll, please. <laughs> Killer, we're bossed up. Let's check it out. Killer on the beats.